So we were discussing this reading by K.S. James and Srinivas Goli. Demographic changes in India is the country prepared for the challenge. So we have been answering this question. We have answered few parts of this question. Like, for example, we have discussed very briefly the trends in the Indian population size and the drivers of the population change. And we have also discussed the first driver of population change, which is mortality decline. And in between that, we have also discussed how the mortality decline uh, is the result of the advancement in medical facilities and not due to the socio-economic progress, uh, as was the case in the Western countries in India. Right Now, in the case of the fertility decline, what we are going to see is this is the second driver of demographic change. So uh, authors, they tell you that uh, infant mortality decline, it started in the early period of the last century, around 1921. But the fertility decline has started happening somewhere around 1960s, right? And uh, this pace of the fertility decline, it accelerated in 1980s. One thing is that. Then they are trying to say that the current replacement fertility level is 2.3, right? Uh, that is 2.3 children per woman. And the replacement fertility level is 2.1 uh, children per woman. So this is very close to that. But they, they are telling that if you look at the Indian experience, we were sitting at around uh, maybe... Uh, six children per woman. Now we are sitting at around 2.3 children per woman. So this is almost, this, this has gone almost half. Now when this has gone almost half, all of this has happened in the last 30, 40 years. And that too, when most of the, when, when, me, when the huge part of the population is still illiterate, uh, and uh, there is the considerable poverty levels, but still we have been able to achieve the decrease in the replacement fertility. So this is a very good thing. And uh, then they have talked about the few trends. Let me write a few points for you. Now let us talk about the trends in the fertility decline. So if you look at trends in the fertility decline, you find is that uh, the onset of the fertility decline, it started somewhere around 1965, 70. Uh, so where fertility has started falling in India. <clears throat> and, the, <clears throat> and the authors tell that the first major change in the fertility decline is experienced in 1976. So in the year of 1976, they find this that uh, the total fertility rate, it has fallen from 5.4 to 4.5. Right. And... Uh, this 1976 was also the year of emergency, right? So the emergency period and the, the major change in the family planning program, it coincided some. It coincided somehow. So during the initial years, that is in 1961 to 66, the fertility decline did remain more or less stable. So only in the period of emergency, that is during 1976, in that particular year, in that particular period, there was the overemphasis on the family planning program, which has led to the fertility decline, the huge fertility decline. So we'll talk about the family planning uh, program and uh, how, what was that incentive and target based approach? So what was the changes in the family planning program and how it contributed to the family uh, to the fertility decline? So let me write a few points. Now let us talk about within trends only the family planning program. India ne nationwide family planning program uh, adopt kara tha 1952 mein. Kuch clinic based approach thi, jase ki West ke andar plan, uh, planned parenthood organizations hoti thi, clinics hoti thi. So, I mean, which was set up, these were clinics for those who needed their services. India mein yeh program fail ho gaya clinic based approach it failed right mainly because uh, bahut hi kam women they used to visit these clinics to india ne india ne kya kara ki ab bhaiya clinic based approach to chal nahi raha to ab hum extension services ke sath kaam karte right extension approach 
समझाएंगे उनको छोटी फैमिली के फायदे बताएंगे कि वो कैसे फैमिली प्लानिंग कर सकते हैं लोगों की नॉलेज एटीट्यूड में चेंज आएगा बिहेवियर में चेंज आएगा राइट लेकिन इंडिया में नहीं चला इंडिया एक्सटेंशन बेस्ड अप्रोच के साथ उसने काम करा राइट दूसरी बात इन्होंने ये करी कि उन्होंने एक फुल फ्लेजेड मिनिस्ट्री फुल फ्लेजेड डिपार्टमेंट खोला फैमिली प्लानिंग का विद इन द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली प्लानिंग इन 1966. सो दिस वाज अ वेरी वेरी कॉन्शियस एफर्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट साइड दैट यस दिस इज दैट इट इज कमिटेड फॉर द फर्टिलिटी डिक्लाइन वन थिंग फैमिली प्लानिंग सर्विसेज के जो भी ऑब्जेक्टिव थे आई मीन उसके लिए उन्होंने जो हेल्थ वर्कर्स रखे थे उनके लिए उनको टारगेट्स दिए गए कि आपको इतने टारगेट्स अचीव करने हैं और लोगों को भी इंसेंटिव दिए गए कि अगर आप फैमिली प्लानिंग करते हैं तो आपको कुछ मॉनिटरी इंसेंटिव्स भी मिलेंगे इंसेंटिव एंड टारगेट अप्रोच के साथ कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स भी आई कुछ प्रॉब्लम क्या थी प्रॉब्लम ये थी कि जो हेल्थ वर्कर्स थे वो कई बार पोर्शन भी यूज करते थे कि विमेन को उन क्लिनिक्स में लाने का और फिर फैमिली प्लानिंग सर्विसेज देने का राइट एंड दे कोर्ड वुमेन टू एक्सेप्ट स्टरलाइजेशन रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द पुअर क्वालिटी ऑफ द सर्विस व्हिच वाज प्रोवाइडेड इन दीज हेल्थ ऑफिस दैट वाज देयर सो ये कुछ बातें थी फैमिली प्लानिंग प्रोग्राम के बारे में मैं कुछ पॉइंट्स लिखता हूं तो ये तो बात थी कि फैमिली प्लानिंग प्रोग्राम की उसके बाद अगर 90s के बाद देखें तो फर्टिलिटी डिक्लाइन में और ज्यादा गिरावट आई और जो हमारी जो कुछ ऐसी स्टेट्स थी जो जिनमें हाई फर्टिलिटी था और हाई पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ था उनमें हमने जब ज्यादा फर्टिलिटी डिक्लाइन देखा राइट दे वो मेकिंग अ कॉन्शियस एफर्ट फॉर डिक्लाइन इन फर्टिलिटी मिड नाइन्टीज में एक प्रोग्राम चालू करा गया था विच वॉज कॉल्ड रिप्रोडक्टिव इन द चाइल्ड हेल्थ प्रोग्राम इसी प्रोग्राम का एक नया वर्जन था नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन इन मिड टू थाउजेंड और इसने उन स्टेट्स को बहुत फायदा दिलाया जो स्टेट्स लैग बिहाइंड कर रही थी मतलब जो स्टेट्स की अभी भी फर्टिलिटी बहुत हाई थी तो हुआ क्या कि जो फर्टिलिटी डिक्लाइन में अब यह स्टेट्स भी उन स्टेट्स की तरफ कन्वर्ज करने लग गई जो स्टेट्स कम फर्टिलिटी पे थी राइट सो दे वॉज अ कन्वर्जेंस इन द फर्टिलिटी डिक्लाइन फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल स्टेट्स इन इंडिया सो दैट वॉज द पॉइंट सो लेट इस राइट फ्यू पॉइंट राइट सो मोस्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट ऑफ द नोटेबल फर्टिलिटी डिक्लाइन इन इंडिया हैज हैपन इन अर्ली नाइनटीन नाइनटीज आई टोल्ड यू और हालांकि फर्टिलिटी रेट्स दे कंटिन्यू टू डिक्लाइन थ्रू आउट द कंट्री बट इट मोस्ट ऑफ द डिक्लाइन वाज कंट्रीब्यूटेड बाय दो स्टेट्स व्हिच वर ऑलरेडी एट वेरी हाई फर्टिलिटी राइट एंड देन यू सॉ द कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ दीज स्टेट्स टुवर्ड्स द लोअर टुवर्ड्स दो स्टेट्स विद द लो फर्टिलिटी आल्सो देयर वाज अ सो देयर वाज अ कन्वर्जेंस टुवर्ड्स फर्टिलिटी डिक्लाइन अमंग द स्टेट्स सो टू मेजर गवर्नमेंट प्रोग्राम्स व्हिच हैव हेल्प व्हिच हैव रियली हेल्प इन the fertility decline was reproductive and child health program mid 1990s and the national rural health mission somewhere in mid 2000s right now again how the experience was different from best how india's experience of fertility decline
was different from West. So they say this that if you look at Western countries, their fertility decline has happened even without contraceptives, right? Even without the uh, uh, the availability of contraception, uh, socioeconomic status has increased. That has led to the decline in fertility, but not in India. In India, it was a very concerted government action which has led to uh, the family planning program and which has helped in the fertility decline, right? So, please write. In West, Fertility decline took place even without significant availability of contraception. So socioeconomic progress was there and it this leads to uh, people to understand this that yes, we should rather have small family size. Uh, so there it creates a desire among the couples to have the smaller families. But this didn't happen in India. Uh, so he's right in India. In India, decline in fertility took place hmm. not due to socio economic progress but due to the concerted governmental effort. but due to concerted governmental efforts at promoting family plan. And the good thing was that this fam because of this effort, this family planning was adopted by all uh, uh, all kind of people, I mean, at the different economic levels also, right? So, with with the different socioeconomic levels also, all kind of people, they adopted family planning and this led to the fertility decline. The government also, um, there was an intense effort by the government to provide the maternal and the child health services and the better overall quality of care. This also led to the fertility decline. This also led to the fertility decline. And you know what the authors, they tell you that uh, a very huge proportion of the fertility decline is coming from uh, women who are poor and, and illiterate. So you can see that how much small family sizes is adopted by all uh, socioeconomic groups, right? That is there. So... The decline in fertility in two thousand is 
is due to government effort in providing maternal and child health services. And better overall, overall quality of care. Government is also allocated uh, uh, more towards uh, health population uh, and particularly in the demographically weaker states. So you can say this is the, that the family planning program uh, and the population stabilization policy drive has been successful in India as it has led to the acceleration in the fertility decline in the country, right? So this is this was the another indicator of the demographic change. So we have done two. One is mortality decline and the fertility decline. And how is India's experience different from the Western countries in this? Right. We'll look at the another indicators of the demographic change in the next recording. Thank you, Bita.